Good morning. This is Peter Gale again, here to tell you a few more tips about how to get started with your school year and technology. One of the biggest changes this year is our migration to Office 365. So come with me on a short journey as I show you a few simple steps to make your Office 365 experience a little better. Here, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. As you can see, it defaults to your OneDrive for Business. Now, one of the key things we are doing this year that's different are these daily videos trying to encourage you with best practices and helping you understand the bridge to that technology gap. So, if you would please, click on the top here where it says Sites. Now notice that I have in mine the blog, which is a blog that I am trying to write myself, and I also have my suggested sites to follow that someone else linked me to. So how do we find that site there, this Teacher Technology Center? Let me show you. If you click up here where it says Search Everything, and then go ahead and type in Teacher, it pulls up as one of your hits, at least it should, the Teacher Technology Center. So from there, if you go ahead and click that link, I would like you please to consider clicking that little star that says follow. It tells me I am now following this site. So in the future, if I go back to sites, I now see that in addition to my blog over here, I also have that I'm following the Teacher Technology Center. So the te Teacher Technology Center is the place we want you to go to access our archive of all the things we're putting on YouTube, among other things. Over here on the right hand side, you notice that I have these additional web resources. These are typically links to third party sites that can be helpful to you in understanding Windows and going beyond or moving at a faster pace than what I'm able to produce for you. Over on the top left, we have basic link navigation. And here in the center, of course, we have our announcements. So I have a little screenshot there of the Embrace the Race videos. And I have some information here about Microsoft Mix for PowerPoint, a very powerful thing we're going to be sharing more with you about later. And down here, we have additional information about Office training, Windows 8 tutorials, things like that. If I go over here to the Embrace the Race videos, click the wrong one there. Here we have a quick little thumbnail and a description about each of the videos we've done so far. This page, of course, will be updated daily. This first one, ladies and gentlemen, the August 4th Brockman, Stella Brockman welcome video, was the video that K-8 teachers saw that first day of school, if you want to watch it again. One more little step that will help make you extremely effective when it comes to Office 365. Notice, please, that right now, if I go back to my OneDrive, I have here all my stuff. Now, yes, I could take this little, oh, I don't know, this PowerPoint presentation called Orientation, and I could go ahead and move that, for example, maybe into my personal folder. Gee, that didn't work very well. A little frustrating, isn't it? If I try again, maybe grab the icon, and drag it to my personal folder. See, the drag and drop notion of organizing your files just doesn't work very fluidly here. So what we'd like you to consider doing is synchronizing your OneDrive for Business folder with your desktop. If we click on the folder icon in the bottom left corner here, you can see that I have already done this. I have my commer commercial or civilian, if you will, OneDrive over there on the left. And up here I also have my OneDrive for Business, where if I want to take that orientation file and drag it into my personal folder, now it works fluidly, effortlessly, it does a great job. Let's click back on the web and see if it worked. Now it looks like it's still there. Let's refresh the page and see.
Now you can see that file that I moved into the subfolder is gone. If I now click on my personal folder, you can see there it is. It's been moved. So the simple tool for you or your students to take your files that you have in Office 365 and simply move them down into OneDrive for Business on your desktop is simply to click this little sync button right there. And it says, OK, sync now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might have to click an OK or accept or something like that, but pretty much you're done. And it tells you, it puts it right here in your computer. C is your local drive, your user folder, and you now have a new OneDrive for Business folder where any changes you make there are going to get synchronized online. Please give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy this powerful feature of OneDrive for Business and automatically synchronizing what you do on the desktop to the cloud. Accessible anywhere, your files, all the time. One little warning. Keep in mind that our devices have limited storage. The cloud, Microsoft gives you one terabyte per person or a thousand gig. Not everything, if you go all out, that you put on the cloud will fit on your device. There are some details on how you can tell things to synchronize or not to synchronize. It's just something to be aware of. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.